Let's do this. of Metal Gear Solid. There's a mission log. I'm going to try to read this. Damn, the music is loud. Snake must try to rescue the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Dr. Hal Emmert. To find out how to stop the nuclear launch, floors with high voltage electric currents block his way in the nuclear war his storage buildings. Second floor basement. That's so weird, like... Okay, but with Deep Throat's advice, Snake destroys the electric control panel with a remote control missile. Snake heads, heads for the northeast section of the nuclear war his storage building, second floor basement. Wow, like, I feel like... That's a lot of words. <laughs> We're gonna fight this guy. Let's go. Probably gonna be a 20 minute video. Sit back and enjoy this. <laughs> Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? What next? Jeez. Snake. Hey, you're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? Oh, I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy this moment. I never knew why we fought this guy. That's why we're watching these this guys. Video. It's like one of my Japanese animes. <laughs> I've come from another world to battle with you. That what is very is anime. Revenge. It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. Why? I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. <laughs> so good of a soldier that he needs to fight someone really good to feel alive. suit? I want that suit.
Oh. Caught him over there as well. Shoot him when he's down. Is he getting hurt by a snake? Is a snake that good? I felt that snake. Do you remember me now? It can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. Too. 
is it over? Otacon is such a loser. Uh oh. Is this phase two? So, Gray Fox, Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox, no doubt about it. Ridiculous, you yourself in Zanzibar land. Yes, he should have been killed, but he's still alive. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar land. And that was Gray Fox? But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi. What happened to Gray Fox after that? The record said he died in an accident. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I can tell, he didn't know who he was. You're saying he's just living off his will to fight? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. Oh, oh he left. left. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Mm-hmm. I'd rather not, but maybe that's what he wants. Nah, we're not fighting. There's more video. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform's different from theirs. Just You're the Metal Gear up, Rats dude. chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Hmm, are you hurt? Ah, uh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't oh. know? Aren't they just trying to use the TMD missile module to launch a disabled nuclear warhead? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. Uh, no, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? Wow. 
So you really didn't know. No. All the armament was built by a separate department. Mm. And the president personally That's... supervised the final assembly with the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So, this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... No. Damn! Damn! I'm such a fool! It's all my fault! The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father? He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But in the end, I was the one being used. Using science for peace? That's only an anime. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower. But it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the base's control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours? You'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, oh try to God. escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by Kodak. How am I supposed to escape from an island? <sighs> okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? 
Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you, too. At some point I get this stealth camo, too. I gotta figure out where. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is. Over there. Oh no. Damn, they spotted me. Meryl, what happened? Uh oh. Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? Look at Mario. What did she look like? She... She was wow. wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. To make sure we see that scene again. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. Nice. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you. What's wrong? You get all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I, uh, just glad you're okay. You're strange. He thinks he might I'm die from a heart attack? Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. An otaku is a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Wow. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. Yeah, that's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Sounds like an excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has progressed because there is war. And because of scientists' greed, weapons of mass destruction were born. But that's all over. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. Nice. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Like good to play yet? Jeez. There we go. Get clearance level four.
night vision goggle. this guy now. every time so it's not like um oh what's this another box fuck yeah box two can't get that one all right let's go get her Don't move. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. Hmm. Wow. You're Meryl. There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. Huh. I had no idea you were so... feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. <laughs> Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. Mm. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. 
What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I'm a fan of Foxhound way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a guy who can only find meaning on the battlefield. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. Mm. The only winners in war are the people. That's right. And you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You can't stop loving war. Is it the same for all soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My Kodak was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? Anyway, how did you recognize me in disguise? Uh, I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about wow. me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Butt? Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. Well, shut up, Snake. You gonna do it in the bathroom? There's no other female soldiers, right? So, Snake, how are the negotiations going? Why do going? they have that female bathroom no progress. in the first place? So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's gotta stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Now, where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. I heard that Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north of here. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Oh. You're gonna kill Psycho Mantis soon. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I've always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father, he was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. And so... You became a soldier. I thought I was, until today. But now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I wanna know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know... Take a good look.
who won't be seeing mirrors for a while. There won't be any chances to wash your face, either. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. You lose, you die a dog's death. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Uh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Now you treat me like a woman? Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. It looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Can I backtrack? That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Let's see, I might be able to backtrack. Okay, I can't. All right. Go straight to the boss fight. Okay, let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. down. Meryl is possessed.
Do you like me? Hold me, Snake. What's wrong? Hurry. Uh, please, make love to me. Why are you gonna be so weird, Psycho Man? Too. Ah, ah, ah. Let's see what the hint is. Snake, Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. All right. I already do. Ah. Flash, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You, you doubt my power. Is that Hidoka you on the wall? I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I am Psychomantis. That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. It's useless. I told you, I can read your every thought. You're a careless man, aren't you? And you're a poor warrior as well. However, you are skillful at eluding traps. Still don't believe me? Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. No saved games. Your memory is completely clean. You have not saved very often. You are somewhat reckless. <laughs> I can read you like an open book. That's interesting. You still don't believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. Put your controller on the floor. Put it down as flat as you can. That's good. Now, I will move your controller by the power of my will alone.
He Dell. <laughs>
Project. He has powerful psychokinetic and telepathic abilities. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to America looking for a job. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. Five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer. But he got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. So he was sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts? In any case, after that he became sort of a psychic spy working for the highest bidder. He traveled all around the world. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He can read people's minds. He knows every move that you're going to make. What should I do? I've got no chance of beating him. There must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. I wonder how you change controllers. Looking it up. Looking it up. Okay, I got it. I know how to change controllers now. I figured it was like something um, you had to do with the emulator. Okay.
Did I not save? Maybe I didn't save. Um. Think about emulators. Hmm. Um, I think I know what to do. Okay. okay that didn't work. psychic abilities. Somehow you've got to get around him. He's using his psychic ability to read your controller's moves. That's how he's evading your attack. You've got to do something so he can't read your controller's moves. Think, there must be some way. He's using his psychic ability to read your controller's moves. 
That's how he's evading your attack. You've got to do something so he can't read your controller's moves. Think, there must be some way. Any reason you can't use controller socket three?
switch between the controllers. It was hard to figure Colonel, out which one is the way. Your niece is going to be right okay. Way. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off. Right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake? Or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that does not mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so, but I will read your future. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, you have to go through the hidden door. There's a hidden door what? behind the bookcase. Frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers, then use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. Yeah, I'm gonna miss my fight. I have read sucks. the pasts, presents, and futures of thousands of people. I realized this stuck on that for the stream. And women. Oh, gross. Uh, and each mind that I peered into was stuffed what? with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and that atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way, and that is why there is war. But you are different. Wow! You're the same Many as minutes us. of the fight was we have uh... no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world. We're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth, and he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> We are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just want an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen true evil. Snake, seeing you calms my soul. You're like the boss. No, 
worse. Compared to you, I'm like a saint. I read her mind as well. Merrill's. I saw you there. You have a large place in her heart. A large place. And getting bigger. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind. Before I die, I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're going to doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Don't regret your past. Learn from it. Regrets just make a person weaker. Mm. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? More complaints? Wow. About what Mantis said. I was just wondering... What? What's the problem now? Oh, no. Nothing. So tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Jeez. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone, just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on, let's go.
Nope. What are you doing? We've got to get a move on. We have to go forward for now. But I'm sure I can backtrack at some point. Could there be wolves in here? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. How do you know so much? Mm. I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. Thought you were good with dogs. Okay, that was cool. This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working, and since we can't use the mine detector either... <gasps> Leave it to me. think pretty good huh how did you know where the mines were it sounds weird but when mantis dove into my mind i was able to see where the mines were placed are you impressed well a little bit only a little No folks given. I'm gonna steal all of them claymores.
Damn, bro. Meryl. I guess I'm a rookie after all. Don't worry, Meryl. It's me they want. <laughs> Even I know that. It's the oldest trick in the book. The sniper's using me for bait to lure you out. Damn! Shoot me, Snake. No. My gun. I can't reach it but myself. Don't move! I wouldn't slow you down. I... I can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. Uh, war is meaningless. Nothing comes out of war. Please, save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Don't forget what I said. Now, get out of here. Meryl! Colonel? Damn! Snake! It's a trap! A sniper's trick to lure you out! The sniper's waiting for you to go to help Meryl so he can pick you off! Don't do it! It must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. Doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's a classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. I'm going to save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Don't you know? There's a tendency toward murder written in your very genes. So saving someone else's skin is out of the question? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm going to save Meryl for myself. Colonel? Don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. This dialogue is so crazy sometimes. Get the hell out of here. Go get a sniper?
killed this dog's family. Sorry. Backtrack. Let's save. I haven't saved in a minute. What can I do for you, Snake? It is the strong swimmer who most often drowns. It's because the strong swimmer overestimates his abilities and underestimates the strength of the river. You're probably quite used to the mission now, but don't get careless. I don't have to backtrack that much, but I could go further. You got a sniper rifle? You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl. I guess I can't backtrack yet. Actually care, and they're gonna make you like watch a walk. Uh, what's it called? Like a cutscene where she dies or something. way and take all the loot and then come back and kill because Meryl is dead already there's no saving her that first building has all the rooms that I haven't gone in but I don't know how many rooms with what rewards. Whether it's worth it or not, there's a bunch of soldiers and a bunch of things in my way. So. Wow, 
GameCube. And then Mario over here. Is Backtrack, but it's kind of like at the same time, it's kind of rude. Harold's dying. Heard that, that's good. I need all the loot I can get. I mean, this is not like a speed run or anything, so. I don't think after this, I don't think I need to come. here so
doors. And then we're Gucci. We can go back and fight the boss. I don't have a number six. And these are already looted, but Gucci up here. Gucci gets up. Could be one or two rows here with five. But if five, five is too low, maybe there's six, like this one. There's a six here that I haven't opened. So, there could be some doors here. Other than that, I'm good. All I need is six for the other floor. It's here, though. couple level 6 rooms that I don't have access to yet, that's it.
probably should like load the game again. I don't know where. I, no. I'll find health. It's all good. That was a waste of a lot of my fucking resources, but not a whole lot. give you good loot. Next time I'm just gonna pull out my gun and scare them and stuff. I feel like they drop better stuff when you scare them. When you tell them to freeze. And they drop dog tags, right? Pretty chill as long as you don't fuck with them, so. Give it food or something, and we're good afterwards. I don't remember what though. Hmm. Let's kill this sniper and then we'll go eat.
think I could have pulled up slowly as I shot her and she's moving around and stuff. Might have been slightly, slightly easier to... deal with her as I'm closer, but I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I'm not trying to go. I was trying to go upstairs and loot. I didn't know which direction was the right one. Don't move! your weapon over here slowly you're a fool to come back here stupid man a lady sniper huh don't you know that the majority of the world's great assassins are women do you want to die now, or after your female friend? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. I am Sniper Wolf. And I always kill what I aim at. You are my special prey. Got it? I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you, you're all I'll think about. Take him away! Don't kill him yet. I want him alive. Leave it to me. I want no more accidents like that DARPA chief. Yes, he's my target. Mine alone. Solid Snake? He's tougher than I thought. Do you know who I am? I always knew that one day I would meet you. The man who stole the light from my life because of you! Forget it. Your body is strapped down tight. Me? Why, I'm the man from whom you stole everything good. And now, after the sacrifice of our brothers, after thirty long years, finally, the two of us meet. The brother of light and the brother of dark. Do you need his genetic information too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We need it to correct the genome soldier's mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. They won't give in. They're all hypocrites. Every one of them. 
Is that your opinion as a Kern? They always put politics first. Well, that's the right. Kern. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. There definitely is a resemblance, don't you think, little brother? Or should I say, big brother? I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. It's me. Really? Then what? <clears throat> Those idiots! All right, Raven. I'll be right there. <sighs> They're not responding to our demands. We'll launch the first one in ten hours as planned. Damn Americans. Looks like you read them wrong. Something's funny. Normally, the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're gonna launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Wanna stay for the show? I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. What's up, Fahrenheit? So, you prefer your wolves to my show? Yeah, hmm? the graphics are not good, but Ocelot, the story is awesome. Don't screw and the up gameplay. like you did with the chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't <laughs> think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well. His mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. Yeah, pretty much. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Torture? This is an interrogation. <laughs> as you wish. See you later, brother. Your woman is still in this world. Meryl. <laughs> Down. Also, I'll ground it. Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. 
Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Finally, just the two of us. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. Glad to hear that. This is some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have a lot of faith in your skill, hmm, carrier boy? Huh? So, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel? Yeah, it's weird and cheesy, the way, but it has a lot of heart. You got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? There's a lot of what if I character. Did? I love it, man. Is it's one of my favorite disc? games. There's no other data. What do you mean? There's no copy. If not, that's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead yet. Thanks to Wolf's whim. But it's up to you if you want her to stay yeah, that way. Yeah, exactly. You were holding I wish they would make this. Key. Where are the other two? Remake it. What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem then. We're going to play a game, Solid Snake. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. But if you do, the girl's life is mine. Press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. What are those? When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Don't even think about using auto fire, or I'll know. We'll see, man. Snake. Hopefully they make some it's good games. It's been a long time we'll since you saved your game. Yeah? So what? If your body can't survive the torture, it'll be game over. You really want to travel down that long road again? Come on, I won't tell. Why don't you just give up? I'm going to run a high voltage electric current through your body. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. Did you know that it was the French who first thought of using electrical shocks as a means of torture? Hey, French films are all right, but I don't care about that crap. Mm, you're a tough guy, Snake. But and I've got some bad news for you. The player. You're no POW. You're a hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared? Good. You should be. Okay. Let's get started. Let's go, weirdo. Wasting my time. Let's go. What price? What bundle price? How did you like that? Shall we go again? Had enough yet? Oh, we're not finished yet. Ah! 
You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. You're the boss's brother, all right. Your brother. He's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F-16s with a chopper? The Les Enfants Terribles project was not a total failure. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. Looks like I got a roommate. The DARPA chief. Whew, what a stench. And they've been keeping him here instead of disposing him. The disposing of him. Wow. Snake, are you okay? I've been better. How's Meryl? They got her. Damn. Colonel. Okay. I know. Snake, the government has decided not to give in to their demands. We're trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Meryl, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear. Secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the President had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the President and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the START III Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified START II, or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the President's reputation, and America's place as the dominant superpower. So, you turn to Black Ops. Convenient. Please, Snake. Just stop them. To serve your interests? Because we're relying on you. In that case, tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before, I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see... Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about? The President has adopted a firm public stance vis-a-vis -vis bioethics. We don't want the existence of the Genome Army to go public. And that's the only reason? <laughs> the hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Poor man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the Chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the Chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn! Is there any way to prevent it? 
It seems there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that ArmsTech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. I'm sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also... What? Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. God damn, I caught a cold. Mm. That witch, she took my clothes. Snake, are you okay? I feel so scared for you. It must be horrible. <sighs> I've been through a lot worse. Believe me. Wow, you really are a hero. It's a good thing the codec is connected directly to your inner ear. You can contact us anytime. It's always nice to hear that you're all right. Why don't you contact the Colonel? If anyone can think of a way out, it's him. Yeah, dude, the voice acting is so good. One of the reasons I love this game, man. I mean, it's just cheesy, it's weird. The gameplay is funny, you know, like, there's a lot of stuff that could be improved, but man, it's fucking fun. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Please, Snake, don't give up. Don't give up. Well, I might have to right now, because I'm hungry. I want to go eat. <laughs> what are you playing around with? Yeah, for sure. He's gonna go to the bathroom soon. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Salad Snake. You are the nuclear specialist that the Colonel mentioned. That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst. So, I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the Nuclear Emergency Search Team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon. The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen. And neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. I'm gonna figure out how to get out of here, bud. What are you playing around with? Snake, it's showtime. Ocelot wants you. What? Okay, I'll tell you once more. Press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. I've fought wars in Afghanistan, Mozambique, 
Eritrea, and Chad. Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. I was trained by the Russian Gru. I'm not like one of those KGB slugs. To me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Mujahideen, Don't yeah, confuse me with those uniformed fools. Well, shall we begin? go eat so we well, I'll save again sad age I didn't know they do it twice imperialism totalitarianism perestroika 20th century Russia has had its share of problems but when I but come back they I'm had gonna an figure ideology. out how to get out of here Russia today has nothing appreciate it appreciate it They're do you remember how to get out freedom and order do I have to and call someone struggle, I, can, I can call Emirates I guess born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down payment. So, you're in this for the money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn, to lead a brave new world order. I gotta call Otacon. Otacon's number. I never called him, so it didn't save, I guess. Just be there we go. Otacon, are you still okay? Yeah, thanks to the stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I was wondering when you'd ask. What should I do? I've been captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? Uh, there's a big torture machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Thanks. Why don't you come? Let me see what it does, actually. Is he gonna come right now? Please, Snake. You okay, Snake? 
Yeah. Nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah. My arm hurts. <sighs> Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Snake, put the controller up against your arm. What? Don't worry. It'll feel good. Huh? Okay, here I go. Ooh. How does that feel, Snake? A little better? A shiatsu massage. How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. Oh my god. Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No, wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? There was no way you could know. It happened in Zanzibar land six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him, knowing that? Yep. How? It's what we wanted. Me. And him. That's patricide. Yeah. That's the trauma of my life. Just like Mantis said. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while, and Alaska was the perfect place. Oh, Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood-related, and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake. Is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. <gasps> Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant, and the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But... didn't you try to kill each other? It's true. We did. In Zanzibar land. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. But that's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven. But he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people. But we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. It makes no sense. Just violence, murdering each other. Yeah. I think so, too. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. This conversation is way too long. They make you predisposed toward violence. You really like talking about genes. Naomi, why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? I thought if I could thoroughly understand DNA, I could get back my identity. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure. But we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I... I'm sorry. I have no idea. 
Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Alright, thank god. I'm gonna save again, actually. And then I'm gonna leave. I, I don't know if actually... Uh, saves Why right you when you save. It's usually like, I remember it was like, when you go to a room, it saves from there, so... It could be right after the torture. But I'm gonna save and I'm gonna go. Because I'm hungry. You're so hungry. Please, Snake. Oh, he has to go to the bathroom. Should I play for one more second? My stomach! Damn it! <laughs> Otacon. I'm headed your way now. Can't you just relax? I am relaxed. I just don't know how to kill time here. Okay, I'll be there as soon as I can. Hey, I'm here. Where? It's me! Otacon. Wow! They even captured you! Her, get me out of here! Jesus. Let me go! That hurts! Hurry up! Snake, is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go! an animal's cage. What a smell. Yeah, because of him. Hi! It's the DARPA chief. If you don't hurry up and get me out of here, I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level 6 card. Nice. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Meryl. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you'll have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. <clears throat> He's coming back. Oh, geez. He's coming back. See you later. Wait. What the heck can I do? That's better.
Dude, that cold medicine knocked me out. <laughs> and it doesn't even work. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Maybe if I walk a little. What the hell? I got out. That's that's better. I can save after this. Okay. Now I can save. Cool. I'm gonna go eat. I can go to the other floor. To the armory. Real quick. There's a uh, level six door over here. And the other one I already walked into, which is the torture chamber, so.
Oh, it's a digital camera. Interesting. How do I get it? Oh, I can go down right here. Snake, there's a bomb planted in your items. Hurry, throw it away. Who the hell are you? One of them? You'll find out soon enough. Snake, get that bomb out of your items. Select the bomb in the equipment window and press the enter button to throw it. Hurry, throw it away. I don't remember doing that ever in the other games. It's crazy. That was a close one, Snake. Ocelot, you'll pay for that. That Deep Throat's a real enigma. He's definitely from inside their ranks. You see, an informer, maybe some kind of renegade. I've got the feeling there's some other force at work here. to a place where I can save.
No, dude. This little Snake, area is so Are you okay? Snake! I can't Snake! Soldiers anywhere. That's fine, I got it. Wasted a lot of ammo last last time.
other floor I think has one or two uh, doors that I haven't opened, so I can try that real quick. Once I get to the wolves, I'm gonna save. And then I'm for real get enough. Ooh, I got armor. Thank you, Saving. And get an elf. Snake, Let's your do solar this. radar. I know. I can't use it in a narrow space like this, right? Right. I'm sorry. No reason to apologize. Even the greatest masterpiece has its flaws. Five hours. Let's see what it is. Five and a half hours so far. Very nice. There is a Chinese proverb. The mind cannot be in two places at once. Make sure you're not thinking of something else during the mission, okay? Hmm. Okay, cool. I am out of here. Go eat. I'll see you guys later.